I'm going to talk a little bit today about um, what are known as vaccine breakthrough cases. And because no vaccine is 100% effective, we did expect that we would see some instances of people being exposed to the virus after um, being vaccinated and then test positive for the virus that causes COVID-19. So far, we have had 97 infections reported among people who have been fully vaccinated. And to put that number in context, these infections represent less than half a percentage of the roughly uh, 250,000 Idahoans who are now fully vaccinated. Half of these infections have been asymptomatic, meaning that the people who we talked to reported they had no symptoms and they were tested for reasons other than illness, um, maybe part of an ongoing testing at their workplace or because they were a uh, close contact to a known case and thought they should be tested. Among the people who did experience illness, 80% of them had either very mild symptoms, um, so this would be something similar to um, allergy symptoms or maybe a head cold, or they experienced moderate illness, so similar to flu-like symptoms in which most people feel really crummy for a couple of days and then, and then feel a little bit better. Unfortunately, there were three people who did require hospitalization for their illness. Um, these were folks that had pre-existing serious medical conditions that put them at very high risk for severe disease. So it's not surprising that they, they did have to stay in the hospital. Um, as far as the type of vaccine that has been received, 53% of the, of the 97 received the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine and 47% received the Moderna vaccine. So it's, it's almost really close to 50-50. People who have received the one-dose um, Janssen vaccine are just now coming up on that two weeks post-vaccination, at which point they would be considered fully vaccinated. And so for that reason, um, we wouldn't have heard of anybody who had received that vaccine as of today. Uh, there have been three infections that have been identified as the B1.427 or 429, which is also known as the California variant. And that is the only variant that's been identified so far among the samples that have had um, genome sequencing performed.